Hello everyone, it's PC Alpha here and in today's video I'll be talking about how to fix lagging and stuttering and increase FPS of the game Borderlands 3. So I was going through the forum of this game and a lot of people have been complaining that they have been disappointed by the optimization and performance of these games and it is a very big forum. There are two forums like this about really poor optimization on PC and there is no solution till now of this problem and everyone including me is waiting for a patch that will improve the game's optimization. But till a new patch is released, I've got 5 general fixes that is not specific to this game, is game only but will help in increasing performance of every game in your PC. So the first one is the most important step, so let's get started. So in the first step, we'll be downloading a game booster. A game booster is a software that puts maximum of your PC's RAM in running a particular game and the game booster I recommend you to download is Razer Cortex Game Booster. And once you download it and you do its advanced setup, it will surely do increase your FPS by a margin and will definitely reduce lag. So just search on Google, download Razer Cortex Game Booster and go to this first link by Razer.com. And once you click on this link, you will be redirected to this page. Here click on download now and its downloading will be started. Once it's downloaded, its installation is really simple but its advanced setup is a bit complicated. So I've made a separate video on how to do advanced setup of this game booster. And once you've done the advanced setup of this game booster, you will clearly see a difference in the FPS of your game and lag will surely be reduced. So you can access that video by clicking on the upper right corner of your screen right now or you can find the link of that video in the description of this video. So once you've done the advanced setup of this game booster, proceed to the second step. In the second step, we'll be reducing the runtime services. All you have to do is search services and open this services app. It will take a few seconds to load depending on the specifications of your PC. And once it's loaded, scroll down to X and find Xbox accessory management. So open this, right, double click on it or right click on you can double click on it or right click and go to properties. By default, startup type is selected on automatic or manual. You have to disable it because we don't need this service while playing a game. Apply and click on OK. You have to do the same with Xbox Live Authorization Manager. By default it is manual or automatic, you have to disable it. You have to do the same with Xbox Live Game Service and Xbox Live Networking Service. Once you have done this, now scroll to F and once you see facts, this is also selected on manual or automatic, you have to disable it and click on OK. And once you have done this, that's all for the second step, now let's proceed to the third one. In the third step, we'll be changing our PC's configuration and to do so, you have to search run and in run type msconfig that is msconfig short for microsoft configurations it will again take few seconds depending on the specifications of your pc and once it's loaded click on selective startup load system services and load startup items then go to boot in boot by default it is 30 seconds or something else you have to reduce it to 3 seconds and select no GUI boot. Now go to services and hide all Microsoft services. So once you have clicked on hide all Microsoft services, all the Microsoft services will be hidden and now you'll be able to see all the services and you can deselect all services that are of no need to you while playing a game. So I've deselected all the Adobe services, by default everything is dead but I deselected them and also all the Google Chrome services and team viewer and AZKL service and QM emulator service. If you find anything else in your PC that is of no need to you while playing a game, deselect it and go to startup. In startup, open task manager and you have to disable all the apps that are of no need to you at startup that are not necessary at startup so it don't take your PC's RAM. So I've disabled everything except my audio drivers. So as you can see only these three are enabled, rest everything is disabled here and to disable anything you have to right click on it and click on enable or disable whatever you want to do so disable most of the apps from here and once you have done it you have to apply these settings and click on ok and exit with restart or without a restart it's up to you but restart is required to save these changes now let's proceed to the next step in the fourth step we'll be changing our pc's visual settings so to change our pc's visual settings you have to go to this pc and right click and go to its properties and here go to advanced system settings and in advanced system settings under performance click on settings and by default it's clicked on let's windows choose what's best for your computer 
dot click on adjust for best performance and everything will be unticked and here click on smooth edges for screen phones and show thumbnails instead of icons and apply these settings and so this step will base not basically increase your gaming performance but help your computer in freeing up some ram so it will give a bit of boost to your gaming too so click on ok and this won't affect your pc's appearance by a margin but will surely help in freeing up some ram so this is an important step now let's proceed to the last step and the last step will be deleting temporary files of a pc and to do so go to run and type percentage sign temp and again percentage sign and press enter and these are all temporary files here select them all and delete them so i recently deleted my temporary files so i only have five files and skip the files that are not being deleted but you might be having a lot of files because you have not deleted them already and there might be a hundred to thousand files just delete them all and they will not affect your pc at all because these are just junk files now again go to run and type temp and press enter and delete everything in this folder too i have already emptied this folder now once you have done this go to your c drive now go to windows and here search for p and in p go to prefetch open this folder continue and here also delete all the files you've got permanently delete all the files and i'm assuring you and skip the files that are not being deleted and i'm assuring you that this won't affect your pc at all if you have any doubt that it might harm your pc in any way deleting these files because these are all junk files and will not at all affect your pc so this this was the last step and that's it for this video once you perform all the steps i'm assuring you that there will be a fps boost and a reduction in lag of the game borderlands 3 if you find, find this video helpful please hit the like button below if you have still any doubt write in the comment section and also don't forget to subscribe for more thank you and have a nice day